Kyle, this is Lozdy, Punch Out TV, how are you all doing? Um, just want to make a video, quick video, um, looks like boxing's coming, finally coming back now, um, got Shakur Stevenson's fighting this week, uh, so it looks like boxing's now starting to take off again after this groans um just uh, quickly what i talk about an article what's just i seen this yesterday it come out uh yesterday i was gonna do a video on it but i didn't have time to do it i was quite tired yesterday but anyway uh, it's just a quick video on the uh, former wbo light welterweight champion Uslan, the Rocky, the Russian Rocky Provodnikov, will be coming back out of retirement to resume his career. The hard-hitting brawler Provodnikov, 25, 5 and 18, plans to return to the ring in the fall of 2020, according to his manager, Vadim Kornilov, or something, Kornilov. Whatever he reported just yesterday, the articles in um, Foxing News 24. But uh, I just just reading about it. It's just a 36 year old retires retired four years ago after his loss to John Molina Jr. on June 11, 2016, in a competitive fight. But it looks like Provodnikov didn't have the same fire that he did he showed us in some matches against the likes of Timothy Bradley and Mike Alvado. If Provodnikov can win a handful of fights, he could get a nice chance to go up against the champions at 140 or 147. Marcus Maidana is or is talking about returning to the ring. Provodnikov versus Maidana would would be an absolute classic war. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Now, I'm not going to read it all. Um, just says Provodnikov does well against punches, and it would be fun to see him go up against the guy that would stand right in front of him all night. Exactly. Now, I find this quite interesting because. He wasn't a bad fighter, Provodnikov. He just had terrible defence. His defence was awful. He was just a brawler. The, the guy had a, a, a solid chin. And he could punch. And he was in a fantastic fight against Chris Algieri. Um, I can remember that. He knocked Chris Algieri down in the first... First round, I think it was, and Chris Algieri got up and his eye was completely shut. But Chris Algieri went on to out jab him and outwork him and ended up winning on points. I think that was his first loss. Um, if I can remember, I can't remember. I know he had a great fight with um, Timothy Bradley. He might have fought him twice, I'm not sure. I'd, I know I definitely know he fought him once. That was a fantastic fight. He had a good fight with. Um, uh, Lucas Mortise as well, he was another brawler, he could punch, he had tremendous power. But at the age of 36 and being out of the ring for four years, has he got what it takes, especially if he's saying he's going up to 147, 140, 140, you've got the likes of Josh Taylor, Regis Progray, um, I'm not sure if Devin Haney's at 140. Or 135, I can't remember. But I know he's somewhere around there. And then obviously at 147, you've got the likes of um, Terence Crawford, Sean Porter, Al Spence Jr., Manny Pacquiao, uh, Keith Furman, you know, Danny Garcia, fighters like that. Me personally, I couldn't see him doing anything at, I don't know. It's hard to say, um, but four years out of the ring, it says here he's, he's got the hunger that he had against 
like when he was fighting Timothy Bradley. Um, will he have the same hunger against the likes of, you know, someone like Carl Spencer? I, I think Carl Spencer would whoop his ass basically, but I don't know. I used to like Provod, uh, Provodnikov. I used to always like Provodnikov. Um, but like I say, his, his boxing stance wasn't that good. Uh, he was just a brawler. But yeah, a bit f feeling a bit flat. I'm not long woke up, so this video is a bit flat. Uh, but yeah, it was just an article what caught my attention. I'm going to start making more videos now and cracking on with it. So yeah, I'll just wait and see what Provodnikov, whether he does come out towards the end of the year. It says he'll be fighting towards the end of the year. Um, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who sent emails um, in the chats of other boxing channels. Uh, people who, who, who text me directly on over YouTube or, or, or whatever in any of my videos. Just like to say thank you to everyone. I mean it from the bottom of my heart uh, for the uh, nice wishes. Uh, after my dad passed away um, a week on Friday, just gone. Uh, yeah, that means a lot. That does. I had some real nice messages off people in the boxing community. I mean, tr truly, truly, uh, it's truly appreciated. Really, really from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who did pass the condolences on to me. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, hopefully I'll be charged up now, boxing's coming back and uh, start getting some videos out and pushing on forward. So from, uh, from me to you, I'll catch you on the next one, peace.